So this will be the first triptych I've done in quite a while, I think over 12 years. Basically what you're looking at is a deep cradled custom panel, almost like a diorama. <laughs> the entire thing was built from the ground up. It's pretty straightforward construction. And now we're doing the base layer. You know, I start them all differently. Uh, this one's more of an Alla Prima layered, so it's the underpainting's color. It's not a black and white underpainting. I started off with this color blue, and uh, I quickly got rid of it. I, I was not as happy with the blue or the yellow. They just seemed a little too much chromatically powerful, too, too much blue, too much yellow, not subdued enough. I've changed over to this antique uh, blue and uh, more of a mellowed out white yellow. That's going to work better. Doing our base layer here. All three paintings have the same color scheme because they are part of a triptych. We're layering in background. You'd probably be surprised as how much of this I painted over. So it starts off with this surface. Now, uh, 24 hours, we'll take that plastic off, see how it, the form holds up. You end up with this crackled candy-like look on the front. So the saran wrap only stays on to set up the medium and uh, give it volume. So we basically, once we've gotten the medium to set up, now we're just going to peel off the masking layer. And the next step will be to finish the wood on the outside make it shiny to match the uh, surface. It's hard to get a good video or photo of these because of the surface, but the surface is a lot of fun. It's very sculptural. It reflects a lot of light. The whole thing changes the, you know, depending on lighting and how you're looking at it. I used to do a lot of this crackled effect, and I got away from it for a while. Here's the texture that was cut into the wood with chisels. So that old worn look, you know, it looks like something that's been, it's both old and yet it's sparkling new and shiny. That contrast to me was interesting. It kind of looks rough and then it's also finished. Kind of an interesting juxtaposition in textures. crackling effect. Uh, you get more pigment where the material is more dense, so the blue changes. Of course, there's the outside again, the grain cut in, and those nails are not real. Those are uh, actually carved in. They're not perfect. The whole thing is, uh, it's supposed to look old and new. I, I don't know how else to explain that. Kind of a fun texture. And there they are, all three of them, next to each other. Obviously, you're catching the goddess element uh, in the, the triple goddess element in the three moons. And waxing and waning and full, obviously. So, after a long, long time, I have completed my first triptych. It's been at least 12 years since I did a triptych. Um, it's only the second bare piece in... 12 years. Uh, obviously, I redid the other one. This is entirely new. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about you it. You know my understanding or how I feel about this subject matter is that to me, teddy bears are a lot like houses. I correlate the two. And I think that a teddy bear doesn't have power unless it's loved. I think a house doesn't have a soul unless people live in it. So I've talked about this before. I've talked about how when I was a child, there wasn't a lot of outdoor lighting. So nighttime was beautiful, dark. You saw fireflies, field glitter as I call it. Um, you would see the stars, everything. Now there's so much light pollution, you don't see as much of it. Hopefully we'll fix that in time. Um, when I made this setup, I was thinking of goddess worship and bears. So the goddess Artos was in my mind. And of course, it doesn't take a rocket doctor to see 
the goddess symbol amongst the three pieces. Um, as with my other bears, the light on in the window represents consciousness as home. Uh, I only did one light in the bears' windows on either side. They're not symmetrical, they're balanced. So they're not exactly the same painting reverse, but they're very close. And then the middle one is its own. The three rays shining down, the three rays shining up. If you know anything about the rays of Awen and Blessing, you understand kind of the lunar uh, elements I'm putting in here. Although also in the Norwegian system, you have the god Mani, uh, which is masculinity in lunar worship. Uh, in this case, we're leaning back towards the bear cults and the wolf cults of uh, prehistoric Europe. Um, but only loosely. I wanted these pieces to be able to stand on their own. I didn't want to have to have people worried about framing and whatnot. I wanted to kind of paint paint a picture with the three of them. So hopefully without doing too much damage, I'm going to pop one of them down now and I'll show you in detail what's going on. So in the video, if you watch me create it, you see the little nails. Those aren't real. Uh, they might look it, but those are carved out nail shapes that have been painted like copper nails. And they're on the corners. Uh, anyone who does woodworking would look at that and go, that doesn't make any sense. Right, it's decorative. Um, the grain in the wood that you're seeing, all the grain that's hand cut with a chisel uh, to give the effect of grain, that's the back, give the effect of grain. The surface is textured. That is a textured surface. It's like a crackling candy surface. I used to do this with a lot of paintings back in the day. People really liked it. I also did gold leaf back in the day. I'm going to be incorporating some of that stuff. But I wanted paintings that felt like paintings, that didn't feel like just images. So I really wanted something that had texture. I've also glazed the outside of them so they have a shiny, candy-like texture to it. They're not absolutely uniformly shiny. They have spots that aren't as shiny. I don't want them to look perfect. It, this is, that's not the goal. Um, so the objective would be to have them hanging next to each other. And if I can do this without knocking these over. Okay. okay. The objective was to have almost three separate little windows. And I'm going to be doing elaborations on that idea, but I felt like this was the direction I wanted to go with this one. Maybe in the future I'll actually make windows you can open, but I'm not there with woodworking skill yet. I'm a rank amateur. But I made the surfaces, I made the boxes surrounding the surfaces, and then I made the interior. So you've got field glitter, you've got some firefly elements, you've got some star elements, you've got moonlight. And it's difficult to show you what the paintings look like because of that crackled surface. Here is they go together and they make up a window, you know, a series of windows, and you're looking out into the surrealist consciousness of the human mind and seeing reflected back in you some truth that comes with the ideas represented behind these. And it also, you have the goddess lunar element with it too. I, I wish I had more to say about it, but I really don't. I'm just, I felt the need to make it. Now that being said, what I'm probably going to do, I'm thinking is at some point this coming week, I will put them up on Instagram for auction. Um, but for right now, I just felt like showing them to you, and I thought you'd find this cool. Uh, I'll try to put together a time-lapse video of the creation of the whole thing and put that up as a fast reel at some point tomorrow. Thank you so much for checking out my work. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, I'm looking forward to find out whose house these are going to. I will be mounting uh, cleats to the back of these. So each one will get a, a cleat um, and they'll sit flush on the wall next to each other or uh, in whatever arrangement you choose once they're in your possession because that's none of my business. Thanks, guys. Peace.